I'm Dean Winward. I'm a professor at Southern Utah University in the agriculture program. We're out here today uh, in the, uh, the Parowan Valley. I'm going to uh, be taking you around to several different farms and operations, looking at uh, different cuttings of hay, some that's, that hasn't been steamed and some that has been steamed. Just do a little comparison. What we'd like to do is show you maybe some of the differences in, in uh, characteristics and quality of the hay uh, on a visual analysis. When you, you look at uh, hay, there's two aspects that we really want to look at. One is uh, hay, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the visual analysis of the hay, and the other is the chemical analysis of the hay, and recognizing that, that leaf retention plays a big role in, in both of those. And what we're seeing here is just, uh, this bell right here is just uh, completely full of, of leaves. What we're looking at here is probably a second cutting hay. Uh, it's been just a little bit weathered, but uh, just looking on the outside of this, some of the things that uh, we're seeing that, that are very favorable uh, with this steamed hay <coughs> is uh, uh, how compact and how dense that is uh, all the way through the bell from one end to the other. And uh, uh, I'm sure if we knock some of the outside of this off, we're gonna get some, some really good color in there. <coughs> and uh, when we looked at these, and these were, these were what, 10 to 13% moisture content, the amount of leaf retention that we have there is just uh, really remarkable uh, at 10% moisture content. That's a really nice, tight, compact bell there uh, holding the, uh, the leaves in and thus the nutrients in there. This one was uh, second cutting uh, hay uh, that we're looking at here. Um, see a little bit larger stems in it, uh, but uh, they, they put it up at a, at a good time. They did a good job of putting it up. Also, we looked at this hay and, and we're probably, the moisture content's just a little bit higher than what we saw with the steamed hay. Down the end here, uh, there's still a lot of, maybe some inconsistencies uh, between the, the bells. Uh, and uh, whether that's because of, of not being steamed and, and uh, when it was put up or not, don't have a good I idea about what that is. But compared to some of the other ones that we've had an opportunity to look at, uh, these seem to be a little bit more uh, variable <coughs> than, than some of the other ones. Very good hay, excellent hay put up, uh, probably as, as with the best possible means that they, they can. Um, and to get as, as good of, of a, a product as they can. But here again, like I say, uh, probably with a lot less effort, the, uh, the steamer would produce something just as, as quality. One of the things that, that I notice on, on this hay here is how, how uh, tight and condensed this, uh, this bell is, how nicely it packs. One of the things that uh, I think is a real advantage to, uh, to steamed hay is the consistency that uh, you're going to get with, uh, with using the, uh, the steamer and, and uh, looking at the bells here, all the bells, uh, just <clears throat> really nice flakes that are forming in here and uniform compaction in that. Uh, retention uh, of the leaves is a big factor here. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the side of this, uh, these bells of hay here, uh, we're just not losing any, any leaves out of this. And so uh, the quality and uh, the uh, characteristics that we're seeing on this are just really, uh, just really amazing. Uh, it's it's going to be some really top quality, uh, very productive hay. Uh, I've told my students many times that, uh, you know, as we look at the hay industry, and uh, look at what some of the concerns that we have uh, with the uh, hay. And if we can do something to, to put ourselves in a little bit more, more control of the product that we're putting out, uh, that's, that's, that's so much the better. And uh, the, uh, the steamer to me is probably, uh, if not the most revolutionary piece of equipment that's come out the last little while. It is one of the top most revolutionary, uh, changing the industry in my opinion. To, uh, to not necessarily <clears throat> always put up better quality hay, uh, but put up more consistent, higher quality hay. And so you get both of those 
uh, aspects to it and the advantages of, of that. Uh, and I think that's probably where uh, a lot of the, the benefits would come from, from using uh, a steamer.